Patrick Bailey. I mean, since his call up, this team has been a completely different team. Uh, you look at that NL West, the Dodgers and the D backs seemed like they were kind of running away with it, especially yeah. early, right? It was Dodgers, D backs, both playing great baseball. The Giants have kind of come out of nowhere. And since his call up, May 19, they are 32 and 18. Second best, best record in all of baseball. So this team has really made up a lot of ground since this kid has gotten called up. Switch hitting catcher, which in some you were ways, yeah, before, before this, <laughs> I was, I was asking. Just because I wasn't a switch hitting catcher, everybody loves the switch hitting catcher. But you know what? This kid does it really, really well. Uh, these are all his ranks among catchers offensively since he's been called up. And F4, of course, including defensive, you know, ability, base running, everything. Throws in everything. So those are his ranks. He's obviously doing a, a, a heck of a job. Um, some of the other more important stuff, he's got a 3-3-2 ERA as a, as a catcher. His, yeah. his Sarah, his catcher's ERA. I don't know. I don't even know how they say it. Um, the, the rest of those catchers, the rest of the Giants catchers, a 4-2-4. But we'll get into the offense first because I know that's what you like, Zero. You the like offense. offense. Switch hitting catcher. This kid's got pop. He's hitting like you just saw. You saw some of those statistics. Easy he does it from both right sides. There. I mean, easy pop. Dead center, not trying to do too much, going all over the yard. Uh, let, let's pause it right there. Let's pause it right there first. So when you have a kid behind the plate doing things like that for you, right? How, I mean, that's a, that's a huge deal, especially – you know, in, in the big leagues today, there's not a whole lot of catchers that are able to do that. He's doing it from both sides. You don't got to worry about matchups. Yeah. You don't got to. He's doing. So, I mean, you're WBC I, manager. Like, I mean, you, you, what does that bring for your team right now in today's game? Listen, if I get offense from behind the dish, yeah. I, I always think that's a plus. Those are like the Hall of Fame type guys, like uh -huh. my boy Brian McCann. I want this to be the most important thing you do because exactly. the game begins and ends on the mound. It always has and it always will. Follow the pitching and you will win. So if he can make these guys better, that's job number one. Better ER, almost a full run lower with this guy behind the plate. A lot of that has to do with the fact that the way he controls the running game. I mean, this kid is one of the best at throwing runners out. We can get into this right here. Go ahead, run it. This is this is Doval on, on the mound. This is the closer, bottom of the ninth. Huge spot, Marte taking on off. On a knee. I mean, look at the way Bang. he clears this clear space and gets rid of that ball so quickly, so efficiently. Oh, wow. Mookie, Mookie is, is befuddled. He has no idea how he just got thrown out in this situation. Again, with Doval on the mound. This is my Ooh. favorite one. Pause All it right, right. there. Let's oh. run it back. I'm in. Let's run it back. Robert, I'm not oh. going to sugarcoat it. I haven't been dialed in on the San Francisco Giants every night. You make a play like this, you want to talk about athleticism. Yeah. We saw we he saw Bo Naylor short. make a we saw Bo Naylor make a pretty nice throw a couple of weeks ago. This kid can do it too. What I love about this one, run it back real quick. I'm gonna oh. take you through this one slowly. So he's down on he, he goes down on the knee, but watch the way watch where this ball is, where he receives it, down low like that. First of all, very difficult for a catcher to make a throw from this point. And then the fact that he allows it to travel. All the way to him. Stop right there. Stop right there. Allows it all to travel all the way to him. He doesn't reach out for it. He doesn't stand up too early. You stand up too early on that ball, you're sailing this thing in the center field. But now what I love and what I used to try to do on throws like this, I would try to not even move my back foot and allow myself the, the strength in the lower half to take over and athleticism to get yourself on top of that front foot and allow yourself to get on line to second base without moving your feet. Because you try to shuffle your feet in this situation with a ball down low like that, you're gonna have a really tough time actually getting up out of your crouch to make a throw. Yeah. So right here, go ahead and start running. Keep, keep it going, slow motion here. The way he transfers everything, gets on line. Look at that. The way he gets on line to second base and the quick release. That's like he's all of that combined. Second base. I mean, Whit Merrifield thinks he has this base stolen without a doubt. He's going first move on a lefty, Alex Wood. And I mean, he just absolutely eliminates him. Look at that. Fall into the right side. Not, not how you would teach it, that's but that's impressive. athleticism. Like you said, shortstop. Wow. Tatis, they call him safe right here. Guess what? Look at that running start. Guess what? They overturned that because he was out. Mm. That, that is a quick release, 0.6 second release time on that. Exchange time, I should say. How do and we then like the last frame? thing, How do we framing. like his frame? I mean, come on. Th this kid's he's one of the best in the big leagues right uh. now. Look at that thing. So let's go back and run that one again. Let's go back and run that one again, because that I, I really like this one. He's set up out. He's set up out. But watch the way the glove disappears from the umpire. See how he quietly takes it before, to where he expects this ball to go before it is even released. Go back a little bit. Go back. This is anticipation. So 90% of what catchers do, blocking, framing, everything is anticipation. Run it back just a little bit more. A little bit more. Right there. The ball hasn't been released. 
He's already got his glove going to where he expects this ball to be. This is a good job by, by Alex Cobb, making a nice pitch. But right here, Patrick Bailey executes it to perfection. Nice small movement. Go ahead and run it. Small movement right back into the zone. There's nothing this umpire can do but call this a strike because all he sees is glove. Glove. Last second in the zone. And that's just beautiful. That's a really nice job. Now, this one. That's a ball, sir. He set up more middle, right? He set up more middle here. Come on. Like, I, I, he, he's just, he, Manaya having some trouble this year. Maybe not, you know, quite as accurate as you'd like him to be. Watch the strength here. The way he kind of lets that thumb do the work and just, boom, picks it up. There's not any wasted movement there. And that is huge for these umpires. If they see that little bit of extra move drag, ball. He does a really nice job of just receiving that ball and keeping it there. All right. Pause this yep. stuff right here. Yep. Give the kids at home. I, I did. I had Brian McCann come out and work with two of my 13 new catchers. Mm -hmm. Give me like, A, what are you trying to accomplish here? Is it is it down to up? I watched JT yeah. and Will like snap up. Yeah. Everything was moving up through. And, and then pop time, Max big thing was always catch ear. Yep. Yeah. Is that what you were thinking? Well, and, and what you did right there, I my my first thought was always knee. My my left knee, my front knee. I was thinking turn, which you did right there. So you're down in your stance, and as soon as you're receiving this ball, yeah. your, my first move was always Bang. this. Boom. Because then that sets my hips up to move towards second base. I'm already squaring myself off. And I can make that move. I, I mean, you want to read the ball, you want to allow the ball to travel, but I can make this move without destroying kind of my setup and, and what I'm doing and staying strong. And it's not, you know, I'm not coming up out of my crouch to do it. So I can make this move and then it's just the quick feet with the with the exchange. This has to be fast. Yeah. So you're working on that all the time. And then it's the feet have to be able to move with it. He looks like he played middle infield as a kid. I, I would I would almost mm. a lot of catchers nowadays. A lot of catchers nowadays. That's that's half of what they're doing, right? They're middle infielders. I guess they're athletes now. Yeah. They're athletes. They're not the big guy back there who can just so can ball. I have Joey Bart for free? And well, I was going to bring that up. <laughs> I mean, he is a highly touted uh, prospect yeah, that I they wanna. have. So be well, interesting to see what they ultimately decide. But right now, Patrick Bailey is the guy. Yeah.